Okay, for this project, I am using Caron Simply Soft, which is just a medium weight four ply acrylic yarn, but you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have. It doesn't have to be this brand. And let me see here. There's approximately 350 yards in this skein, and you're going to need just about a whole skein. So probably right about 300 yards of yarn and then I'm going to be using a size H which is a five millimeter crochet hook and then you're going to need you actually don't have to use this but um, I'm going to be using a, a leather handle and my handle has the clasps at the end I got this handle off of an old bag that I found at the resale shop for like 50 cents and I just took the handle off of it now you can use any type of handle that you have. You can buy a handle, you can find them at resale shops. You can actually, you can make a handle too. You don't have to do the handle the same way I do. So that part's completely up to you. So for mine, I started out with a chain of 52. So you wanna go ahead and chain 52. Okay, I already got my big piece made. So I'm gonna show you on a smaller scale. But you want to make sure you chain 52 if you want to get it the same size as me. So once you get your chain of 52 done, you want to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. We don't count the one that's on our hook. So count two over and single crochet. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This starts our repeat. And we're going to do a double crochet four together over the next four stitches. So what we're going to do is yarn over and go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through those first two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the next two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop, yarn over and go through the next two loops on my hook. One more time I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, so that was four times, and draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook, and you can see your four uh, double crochets there, or they're kind of partially double crochets. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through the five loops that are on my hook, like that. So that took all four of them double crochets and it made it into one. Now I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch. Like that. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And now I'm going to work the double crochet four together again over the next four stitches. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. You want to do that a total of four times across the next four stitches. So here's number two. Three. And four. And then you'll have five loops left on your hook. Yarn over, go through all the loops, chain one, and single crochet into the next stitch. Start again, chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet four together over the next four stitches. Chain one, single crochet into your next stitch. Start again, chain three. 
and double crochet four together of your next four stitches and you just want to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of your row and when you get to the end of your row I'm already to the end but remember you'll have a little bit farther to go still when you get to the end make sure you chain one after that last and double crochet four together you should have one stitch left go in a single crochet into that stitch just like that and that's what it should look like so far now what you want to do is we're going to chain five one two three four and five and turn our work now we're going to single crochet into the top of this double crochet four together here and that is if you pulled apart that hole right there so you just go right into that and single crochet now we start our repeat by chaining three one two three now I'm going to do my double crochet four together right here in this chain space. So I'm going to yarn over, go through the space, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops on my hook. I'm going to do that four times all through this spa same space. So that's two. three and there's four yarn over go through all five loops chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the top of our next double crochet four together right there and then we just repeat chain three one two three double crochet four together right through the next chain space make sure you chain one and then single crochet into the top of your next double crochet four together and then you just want to repeat this pattern to the end of your row. Chain three again and double crochet four together here until you get to the end. Okay once you make it to the end of your row I went ahead and single crocheted into the top of this double crochet four together and then we have the space here left. You want to go ahead and chain three one two three and do your double crochet four together in this last space Sure you chain one and now what I'm going to do is just double crochet right down here in this beginning um, chain spot down here so just yarn over and just kind of go right here you don't want it to be exact but just trying to get it down here in this last spot and double crochet like that and then we're going to chain one and turn Now what we're going to do is single crochet right here into the top of the first double crochet four together. So we'll go right in it, single crochet, and now it's just a repeat, chain three, and do our double crochet four together right here in the next chain spot. chain one and single crochet into the top of your next double crochet four together chain three 
right here work your double crochet four together into the next chain space Chain one, single crochet into the top of your next double crochet, four together, and then you just repeat this pattern, chain three, all the way until the end of the row. Okay, once you make it to the end of your row, I just did a double crochet, four together right here in this last chain space, and I'm going to chain one, and then right here is that chain five from the previous row. Just go ahead and single crochet right in to that chain. Like that. And then we chain five again. Turn our work. And now it's just a repeat of rows two and three. Just keep repeating them, one right after another. So I chained five. So I'll just single crochet into the top of that double crochet, four together. And then I'll chain three. And then work my double crochet, four together in the chain spaces. So now we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three until we get to as big as we want it to be. I actually did a total of 43 rows. I did 43, but you can definitely do it bigger or smaller if you want. It's completely up to you. And this is what it will look like. Oh, sorry. So that's what it kind of starts to look like. Both sides look the same. So it doesn't matter which side you use. And once you get your 43 rows done, you can just clip off, tie off, and clip your yarn and hide your tail if you want. Now all I'm going to do is basically just sew up the sides. So I'm just going to fold it in half and sew the sides up. So I'm just going to kind of grab a piece from the corner, grab a stitch from the corner of each piece. And remember, I want to try to do this as neatly as I can. Go through. Now I'm not going to work like over. I'm going to work from side to side. So I'm going to go back through here. and pull and then back from this side over and you want to make sure you do it kind of close so it's not falling apart on you and you want to just do it like I said as neatly as you can if you wanted to probably slip stitch together you could do that I just thought that It'll look a little bit neater doing it this way. Just take your time. And you just work all the way down. And then I'm going to clip my yarn when I get this side all done and work on the other side until my piece, both sides of my piece is sewed up. Okay, once you get it all sewed up, if you like, you can leave it like this, uh, or if you like the looks of it, when you the seam when you flip it inside out, um, you can do that too because since both sides are exactly the same. It's just your preference on which way you like the seam better. Mine kind of looks the same on both ways so it doesn't really matter to me. Okay now I'm going to go around the top with the row of single crochet and you can start in any stitch that you want. I'm going to work all the way around the whole piece. So even where we seamed it up I'll put a single crochet there to make it look like it's all connected. So you start anywhere that you want. Um, let's start right here. Doesn't really matter. 
start by chaining one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet, and then you just work your way around putting one single crochet in every stitch. And if you can't really tell where the stitches go, just kind of evenly space them out the best you can. And when you get to this chain three space, I'm just going to put two single crochets in that space. And then I'm just going to continue around. One side will have the chain three space. But this other side, it's not going to have it because that was where we started. like that. So two in my chain space. And all that's doing is cleaning up the edge. And if you like the look of the edge the way it is, you don't have to do this. But Just go ahead and continue around. Put in one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Just to clean up these top edges. Just like that. Okay, when you make it all the way around, after you did your one single crochet in every stitch, you just want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet, and then you can clip your yarn and hide that tail and now would be a good time to hide any other tails that you have. Now all I'm going to do is just attach my handle with my clasps just right here in the corners and remember you can use any type of handle you want because there's no way you're probably going to find the exact same handle that I have but um, you can put one, you can crochet your own you can crochet two small ones, two long ones, one long one. You can buy handles. You can buy them off like resale shops where I get most of mine. Um, I sell them on eBay, Amazon. So just be creative with your handle. You can do whatever you want to do for that. You can put rings on it or whatever. But that's it. That is all there is to it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to Oh, like and subscribe to my channel and if you make this or anything else I'd really love to see a picture of it you could post a picture on the bag of day crochet Facebook page I'll put a link to that below in the description box and until next time have a good day